People are almost saying this is the last chance saloon for cycling. Do you go along with that? Well, I think um, I think cycling will continue in one fashion or another. But um, if after what's happened recently with USADA's um, decision with Lance Armstrong, the investigations that followed and the, you know, the realization that it's not just Armstrong either, it's a system. Um, if the sport doesn't take the chance now to change, it's, I don't know what will. It's, uh, this is the time to change. What do you think this group will achieve or can achieve? Well, I hope that we could set out a, 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 an agenda or a, a, a charter that would you know, serve as a, a purpose to really kind of, you know, I, my, my goal would be to see a change up in, in the governing body, the separation of the uh, controls, establish an independent doping agency that, uh, that has no interest within the sport so that the riders can begin to trust that the drug tests are really going to be executed. And there's other technologies, other ways that, uh, that we can ensure and give back credibility for the riders. I mean, and that's what we're, you know, right now it, the riders are the ones who take all the heat. They're the ones who are accused. They're the ones kicked out. But there is somebody supplying those people. And, uh, and the, the fact that the drug test sometimes catch them, sometimes doesn't, opens the door too much. Um, it doesn't create an environment that will create a, a, a clean sport when I think there's solutions to it. You've tried to raise this in the past, but you found it heavy going, quite difficult. Well, I think it, it's, it's mainly because, yeah, I think the Tour de France had hoped to do that. Um, there was a point where riders were uh, aligned with uh, race organizers to split from the UCI, and they did. They split, and there was a, 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 an effort to, to establish an independent doping agency at the time. Uh, but for whatever reason, you know, the UCI and uh, the race organizers came back, and, it, and, and that kind of fell on deaf ears again. Um, it didn't happen. Are you looking to take control? No, I want, uh, no, I, I want, uh, no, I would like to see some change, and not, I'm not trying to control anything. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, <laughs> I've been asked if I would be an interim uh, president. I would say that I, I said this that I would love to look for somebody that would be um, the ideal candidate for, for it. As a former champion, how hurtful do you feel when you see all this going on in the sport that you love? Oh, you know, I've, I've walked away from it so many times, um, but I keep getting dragged back. And, and for me, it is kind of, for me, it's the last hurrah. <laughs> it, 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 if, if we can't change the sport now, I, I mean, I, it's, there's a lot of, um, pain for me that goes into because it was a sport I loved and there was, I with Armstrong and his entourage I was pushed out of the sport and uh, which you know nobody should be able to do that and uh, and so I, I mean I mean I, I chose also not to come back into something that I didn't want to be in and uh, but I still love cycling and um, so I'm, I'm hopeful I'm you know, I'm I'm also wary I mean I can't say that uh, it's going to change, but uh, I think we have to, I have to give it a chance. You say you were pushed out of the sport. That was because of the power of uh, Lance Armstrong and, and his team. Yeah, it just, I, I, was, I, I spent uh, several years in litigation with a Trek Corporation uh, that all indications Armstrong was behind it. Um, I was, um, a lot of my business were affected. Uh, I was, you know, just, it was just... Uh, it, it's it's almost it's impossible to even explain uh, what was happening, but it was um, for whatever reason Armstrong didn't like me, and uh, which he influenced a lot of people in the sport. Why is cycling so important to you even now? Then after all of that, well, because it was my life. I still have you know I still have desire to be in the business, and uh, I think bicycling is is a great sport, regardless of of the tour, Tour de France and pro cycling lives or dies, it, it's not going to kill cycling. I mean, I think that, I don't think the sport will die. There's a lot of sports, uh, there's Grand Fondos, there's, you know, just the adventure that you get when riding a bike. It's a, it's a, a, it's, it's a future transportation uh, f for, for the world. And so the bike, to, I, I love bicycles. I love design. I love, uh, and, and I, I want to be in the, uh, in the, the bicycling business. I have a hard time imagining that without racing. And so, um, 
because the Tour de France is a magical event. And it's, you know, my hope is that we can also get the Tour de France to uh, support uh, a change. Because they uh, cycling is the Tour de France, and uh, um, at least from the racing perspective.